Today's soybeans firmed up that yesterday's sell-off was just a bit too much and the market rebounded somewhat and traders in beans and corn were really shaken by the light rains that came in Brazil and that pushed the market lower. Remember that with all the confusion going on in these markets with the government shutdown including with the trade uh, war has uh, left a lot of traders on the sidelines so the markets are really thin so sometimes there's a little bit of an overreaction when we do get some news. Uh, the real issue is the trade war though with soybeans and there's conflicting stories about whether China is definitely going to step back in or not has uh, everyone scratching their head of which way the market should really go. So we're going to see a lot of more buoyancy in the market just bouncing back and forth. I expect a lot more choppy trade until the new talks that are going to be coming up January 30th. So we're just in a wait and see mode right now. Corn was higher today. Uh, the warm weather in Brazil is uh, helping somewhat. It's, it would also be helping soybeans too, but uh, the thin markets with non-commercial selling really pressed the corn yesterday with a big seven and a half cent drop, something that we haven't seen in quite a while. Uh, but the difficulty is that there's no exports uh, news as well as uh, trader commitments. We really are flying blind right now. We can't really see which way we're going, and that's making it very difficult for uh, corn uh, traders and the, the futures market to really you know, gain any uh, tread to uh, move in a direction that seems to be where we should be going at this time. So, uh, But it is, it is still uh, pretty warm and uh, dry in Brazil now and overall the trend should be to the upside. Uh, that being said, uh, all, there's, you know, everybody is kind of like playing it very close to the chest, so it's going to be really difficult to have the market really move significantly up or down. So we remain in that same 20 cent channel that we have been in for the uh, past number of weeks. Now, wheat rebounded today along with Kansas City and Minneapolis wheat. It seems that the market really dropped down to an area where it, we're pretty cheap, really, and but we've become very competitive around the world. That being said, without any export data, we don't really know anything for sure, so it's kind of difficult to see if we're making headway because we've gotten to a competitive price. Uh, that, uh, oh, inside that, the Northern Hemisphere has had really good uh, winter weather. That's uh, certainly uh, favorable for the winter wheat, so that would ne necessarily be bearish on the market. Uh, so these export numbers would really be helpful so that we can get some uh, understanding on where we're going to be. But uh, our pace uh, going forward, even if we do get the numbers, uh, would probably be sluggish uh, to say the least. Uh, but we're waiting to see if we can find some end to the government shutdown as well as the trade war. Those two things really weigh heavy on all the grains across the board.